All right. Um, yes. So let's get started. We're going to start now by having our five members of this acting company introduce themselves. So I will spotlight you individually. And when you're spotlighted, um, feel free to unmute yourself, uh, campers, and introduce who you are. So. Hi, I'm Emily Porton. All right. Hi, I'm Jadira Hanson. Hi, I'm Zoe Shao. Hi, I'm Zamira Blount. Hi, I'm Nathan Lachwa. All right, so those are we have two exercises to share um, before we show our scenes and monologues. So the first one of those exercises is word association exercise. So, right. So start with this one. You know, um, we've been a lot of over Zoom. Right. Word association exercise we tried um, a couple days ago, and this is all about one person will start. Okay, so something along those lines, the next person will come up and say, This is I am on the truth. So I know you guys. So, Zamira, will you start first? I am a house. Along those lines, God. You're well, uh, it's been a, a long time since I've been on Zoom. Yeah, if we can just, um, I'm spoke, I don't want you to, somebody's got their, uh, needs to mute their. I believe I'm able to mute people. Um, hmm, mute all. Sorry. Okay. Um, is that better? I am hmm. All right. Well, I'm seeing that everyone is muted. Um, Cherie Lushball, if you could, I think for some reason yours isn't muting. And see, this is what we talked about this week is the uh, certain technical issues. Okay, are we good to go, campers? All right, let's try this one more time. So, uh, Zamira, would you mind starting one more time? I am a house. I am a house. I am in the house. A plant on the floor. I'm the jar holding the jar. I am the jam in the jar. Sure. The jam in the jar. Great. Let's do one more round. Sure. How about Nathan? You want to start this time? Okay. Let's do one more round. How about Nathan? You want to start this time? I am the farm. I am the farm. I am the barn in the farm. I'm the animal in the farm. I am the food animal eats. I'm the water that goes into the plants that they eat. One last round of that and we'll move on. Um, how about Jadir, are you on time? I am a frog. I'm the leaf on the flower. 
Oh my god. I'm the caterpillar. Oh, sorry. Repeat that last one. I'm the word on the leaf. I'm the color of the worm. Remember, you're going off the page. All right. Um, okay. I know we're having some trouble here with Wi Fi issues. So why don't we move forward to our next activity, which I'm hoping will work a little bit better. Okay. Thank you all for your patience. All right. So, next activity. This next activity is called Hitchhiker. And we practiced this this morning. So one person is the driver in the car. Someone else comes to enter the car, different persona. Maybe they're really old. Maybe their characteristic is they're, um, they, they cough a lot, or maybe they are, um, well, you'll see. You'll see the examples. So um, Zoe, do you want to be the driver of the car? All right. I guess so. Okay. Is there an echo with this? Yeah, there is. Ah, okay. Good. I'm crazy. Um, yeah, I'm Um, Dr. Haverman, I had to stop the echo. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, do you know how to stop the echo that keeps happening every time I talk? That's what I'm trying to see. I think somebody's, um, can everybody mute once? I think for some reason we're picking up feedback. Now, now I'm going to mute and Bailey talk once and see what. If okay. We... I'm saying something. We're about to do hitchhiker. Hopefully this will work. <laughs> Can they, um, do they all have to have their mics mute, unmuted at the same time? Nope. Okay. That'll work then I think. Okay, cool. Um, so guys, whenever you come into the scene, unmute yourself and turn on your camera. For now, everyone turn off your camera except for Zoe. Zoe is our driver and you know how this game works. So let's show it. And remember, um, someone can jump in whenever they're ready. And after that, Zoe, it's up to you to decide when you see someone on the side of the road. Okay. Howdy, how are you? Well, I'm doing great. Wow, this is just a fine day. Thank you for picking me up. No problem. Where are we heading? I don't know. I think there's somebody on the side side of the um, sidewalk. Let me Let go me get know. them. That's just southern hospitality right there. It's so hot. You're telling me. It's like a hundred degrees outside. I'm sweating. We should go to a pool. Yeah. Well, I think that there's somebody else over there. Let me go pick them up. Hopefully I have water. Oh my goodness. Please scoot over. I cannot have anyone touching me. Nobody wants to touch you either. 
Um, we'll excuse you. Yeah. Here we go again. Okay. You guys all have disgusting germs. Uh, don't act like you don't have any. I don't. We all had them. Yeah, we all have definitely had some danger. You probably have to somebody else. Oh my gosh! Hi, hi everybody! I'm so excited, but I like I like don't know why. Oh my god! Happy Oh my gosh, how are you? Oh I'm doing good. Great. I know you're like a stranger, but I'm so happy to see you. Yes, I'm so happy to see you guys. I know. <laughs> wow. Good vibes only. I know, right? It's good like vibes. All right, good job, guys. So I hope everyone saw how that <laughs> Everyone else. Uh, newcomers. So let's all mute ourselves. Try to avoid having the same problem. Now we're going to move on to our monologues. So this week, each, uh, each student got to work on a monologue, and we did some coaching. We talked about objective and who these characters are. So I'll spotlight you when it's your turn. Um, and we have an order. So first will be Emily Porton, uh, and her monologue is Waiting by Douglas M. Parker. So everyone else can turn off their cameras. And Emily, it is all you. Oh, Emily, you're muted. Sorry, I know I told you to mute, make sure you unmute for this. All right, go for it. <laughs> Moment, see if it's up there. The last five minutes before the end of the school year has to be the longest five minutes in the world. Seriously, entire planets have been formed and exploded in less time. And it doesn't help that this clock is definitely broken. Look at how slow that second hand is moving. Tick, tock, tick. Why doesn't someone fix that thing? Come on, it's not like the janitor has anything better to do. Good grief. I think I just saw the second hand move backwards. Hold on, was that? Yes, the minute hand just moved up by one minute. Sheesh. <sighs> The last four minutes before the end of the school year has to be the longest four minutes in the world. Yay, great job, Emily. Yay, great job, Emily. And moving forward, our next monologue is Miss Jadira um, doing Lucy's monologue from Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. Do you know what I intend? I intend to be a queen. When I grow up, I'm going to be the biggest queen there ever was. And I'll live in a big palace. And when I go out to my coach, all the people will shout and I will wave at them. And in the summertime, I'll go to my summer palace and I'll wear my crown and the swimming pool and everything. And all the people will cheer and I would shout at them. What do you mean I can't be a queen? Nobody should be kept from being a queen if she wants to be one. Well, it's just a matter of knowing the right people. If I can't be a queen, then I'll be very rich then. And I'll buy myself a queendom. Yeah, I'll buy myself a queendom. And then I'll kick the old queen out and take over the whole operation myself. I will be head queen. Nice job, Jadira. All right, after Jadira, we have Zamira, and this will be Angelina's monologue from Mary Hall Surface. This is not stupid, okay? We were all supposed to choose something really important to us, and this is important to me. My research project will be... Hey, Paco, I heard that. You think I'm going to do something about sports. Just because your project is about the homeless, you think it's better than mine. Yeah, well, six people are doing the homeless. At least mine is original. 
my project. Timmy, the last time you laughed at me, you paid for it on the playground, remember? Man, why does the teacher have to leave the classroom when it's my turn? Like you yahoos could stay focused. She's always got something to attend to. Well, right now, you need to attend to me, so listen up. That's more like it. My project, better. Okay, my research project will be, wow, you guys are listening. You're really listening. My project is really important to me. Why women should make as much money as men in professional sports. Nice job, Jim, uh, Zamira. Thank you, thank you. And after Zamira, we have Zoe with the Not So Wicked Witch. Everyone thinks that my sister is perfect. It just makes me want to, want to choke a toad. Oh, pretty pink, like a big fluff of cotton candy, like sugar won't melt her little rosebud mouth. Well, duh, of course, she looks all, all sweet and nice. She's all dressed girly from her head to her toes. Nobody thinks that there could be evil lurking in that fluff. Just proves that, that she's mom and dad's favorite. What did they get me to wear? Black, black, and more black. How is a person to look nice in that? And do you know how hot it gets wearing black all summer long? It's no wonder I'm a bit grouchy at times. Nice job, Zoe. All right, and our last monologue for today is Alex's monologue by Mary Hall Surface, presented by Nathan. I can't open it. The math textbook. I can't even reach towards it or look at its shiny purple cover or thick black lettering or worse. The squiggly white numbers that rise off the page like goats, laughing horrible goats. Wait, you don't have to get the counselor. I'm fine, Mrs. Preston. I just get a little dramatic. My uncle was an actor, so drama runs like a river through my veins. Did you see me in the school play? Right. Back to math. Okay, math. It paralyzes me like a jellyfish or a giant furry tarantula or... There I go again. I should be on the Nature Channel. I get really carried away when I talk about animals. When I talk about anything... Except math. It's all those numbers how they turn into e equations and quotients. It's like I'm trying to decipher hieroglyphics or secret code. I, Mrs. Preston, I honestly don't, I wish I could describe it. It's a frustrating, awful feeling. When I open my book, I'm lost. Help me. Nice job, Nathan. All right. I'm really proud that everyone was able to put together a monologue this week. I know monologues are very important for actors to be able to work on and present like that. And now we have some scenes, which were very interesting. I'm sure your kids will tell you um, over Zoom to do a scene when you're not actually with the person in the same room. Um, we've played a lot over using scope, how close you are to the camera. Maybe you look over and you see your partner. Maybe you're talking to them through a screen, you know. So we were playing with different scenes. And our first scene to show you features Nathan and Zoe. And it's called Lemonade. 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 Get your lemonade. Ice cold lemonade. 
Lemonade, coolest lemonade on the block. Coldest lemonade in town. Coldest lemonade in the world. Made with fresh lemons. Made with fresh lemons that grow in my grandma's backyard. Made with fresh lemons that didn't have roaches and bugs all over them. Fresh from the grocery store. Lemonade that actually tastes good. Lemonade that tastes better than those other lemonade stands. Lemonade made five minutes ago. Three minutes ago. One minute ago. Lemonade that hasn't even been made yet. Ha! Lemonade that you don't need to wait for anyone to make. You know, it wasn't even your idea to start a lemonade stand. You stole that from me. Yeah, but I was the first one to actually do it. By like, two minutes? So what? I got here first. This is my corner. Go get your own corner. This corner is right in front of my house. Yeah, and this... And it's... Right next to my house, you don't own the sidewalk. Well, ha ha. You haven't sold a single glass of lemonade all day. Well, neither have you. Ugh. I hate spending the whole day getting lemons and making lemonade and standing here in the sun and not selling anything. Yeah, well, I hate it more. Hmm. What kind of people even set up lemonade stands and then don't sell single glass? No one I want to be. Me neither. Tell you what. If you buy a glass of lemonade from me, I would buy a glass from you and we both can quit. Works for me. That'll be one dollar. That would be two dollars. Just kidding. So lemonade. 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 Nice job, you guys. All right, and our next scene is art featuring Jadira and Emily. We have to do 16 outdoor photos each, and then oh, I hate this. This is so boring. It's easy. Look, that building has some pretty cool graffiti, right? Fine. That car's pretty cool. I guess. No, you just can't keep taking the same pictures I take. Who says? You're supposed to, like, rely on your judgment. Well, I judge that you got good taste. That's my cloud. You can't just call a cloud. Yes, I can. I saw it first. Nobody owns the clouds. But I own the picture of the cloud. Great. You own your picture. I'll own mine. No, it doesn't work that way. You can't show up with all the same things. You have to have your own different pictures. They won't even notice. Of course we'll notice. Both of our last names start with an S. Our pictures will be right next to each other on the wall. I hate this class. Then why did you take it? Um, because you asked me to. I only asked you to because I thought it'd be fun. It's not. It is. And it's easy. Look, anything can be art. You just have to look for it. Graffiti can be art. Clouds can be art. Garbage can be art. In this class, it can. I'm serious. Look, at the garbage can, the way the paper and bottles and everything is just pouring out of the top and piling up around it, it's like a fountain. You take a picture of it, it's a fountain, and it's art. 
You think so? I know it. Go ahead. I will copy you. No. It's for you. Really? Yeah. Let me see. Art? Art. Okay, but you can't keep calling everything first. You can't call the whole world. Look, I'll make you a cake. I'll split it with you. What? We'll split the world. I'll photograph America and you photograph your half. Okay, I call North America and South America. You can have the rest. Why are you being such a pain? I just make sure there's something good in my half. All right. So you take everything from the waist down, I'll take everything from the waist up. That graffiti, that cloud, is above the waist. The head. What? I owe everything to the top of my head. Done. Look, a pigeon! <laughs> that shadow on the building. Six Are you just gonna take pictures of garbage all day? Didn't anyone ever tell you? Garbage can be art. All right, bravo to that scene. Moving on to our last scene today. And this is called Answers, and it features Zamira and Nathan. All right, and before we start, because we do use that idea of looking, um, Nathan, can you look to your right for me? Yeah, and uh, Zamira, can you look to your left? All right, so Zamira, Nathan is on your left. Nathan, Zamira is on your right. So just keep that in mind. And whenever you're ready, go for it. Nikki. Nikki. What? What's the answer to number seven? How should I know? I saw you write something down. That was for number six. Oh. What's the answer to number six? Are you serious? I know. We studied this together. I know. Last night. I know. Is it 14? What? The answer to number six. Is it 14? It's India. The country? Are you even reading the same questions? Seriously. Why do you have to be that way? We can't all be geniuses. You know, some people are good at taking tests and some people- And some people are good at cheat At cheating off of people good at taking tests. You know what? Forget it. I don't need your answers. They're probably wrong anyway. Taylor. Taylor, come on. Forget it. I'm going to get an A without you. Taylor, you know you can't. I so much can. Number one is George Washington. Number two is sulfuric acid. Number three is a unicorn. Number four is 85 miles an hour. Number five is... Is a geography test. Right? Darn it. Darn it! I'll never get this right. You can definitely do it. If you think about it, you can come up with the right answer. You think so? I know so. Just think. I have it. I have the answer. You do? Mr. Shapiro! Mr. Shapiro! Yes, I know it's the middle of a test. Yes, I know, but I just got a text from my mom. I need to go home right now and take care of my baby sister. Yeah, I know it's unusual, but she has a real problem, and this is the only answer she could think of. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, I'll be happy to take a different makeup test tomorrow. Gotta go. Huh. She really did come up with the answer. All right. Nice job, everybody. All right, can I have my five campers turn their cameras back on? Um, so everyone can now, when you're ready, take your bow for your audience. Very proud of each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you. All right.
Everyone takes your bow. All right, and this would be the part of the show, normally we'd all be together in some stage or black box, and this would be the part of the show where normally we all get together for a group picture. So I would love to take a screenshot on my computer if we can all smile, and I'll take a screenshot of us all together. I will put it in the email later tonight. Oh, no, wait, we, have to, we lost Zoe. No, Zoe, come back. Oh, <laughs> we need that lighting, yes, yes. Okay, ready, and three, two... Awesome. All right. I will send that definitely tonight by email. Um, so I just wanted to say, and I did mention this earlier, um, I know with you guys, but I am truly so proud of each and every one of you. Um, to the people watching, thank you for joining us today. I am so thankful that you let your child uh, come join me this week for these four days. Um, and I just had a few more things I wanted to say. Um, acting teaches a lot of skills. Um, among which uh, performance skills, public speaking, communication, um, uh, emotional intelligence, and perhaps most of all, empathy, which I think is so important, especially right now. Um, and I just think your kids have really worked on and, and are so naturally creative, resilient, and flexible problem solvers. So I am, I'm so thankful that you were able, were able to join me this week. And along with that, um, I'd love to thank the Bispa Foundation for giving me this opportunity. Thank you to Ms. Dickinson. Thank you to Kelsey Maddock, who helped me in the early planning stages way back when. Thank you to Dr. Havermail, Dr. Anders, and Ms. Hunt. And this honestly couldn't have happened without um, everyone involved. So thank you all for joining us today. Thank you, Zamira, Jadira, Emily, Zoe, and Nathan. And I wish you guys the best in all of your future endeavors. Please, everyone, stay well. And that's our program today. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you guys for everything.